Hi guys, and welcome back to City Skylines. Uh, though today won't actually be much about the city at all. I want to plan the rural area around the city, and kind of explain as I'm going along this uh, what exactly I'm doing and why. Though I also do have to give a quick disclaimer, I am from like the most urban area of the Netherlands, and it's very hard actually to find some good information about rural planning. Um, so I'm not I'm not entirely sure how accurate this is going to be. Um, mostly, it's going to be based around my personal experience, some stuff that I've been able to find on the internet, um, but much of it just sort of um, around the area that surrounds my hometown. Um, so yeah, just so you know. And if anybody does have some good insight on rural planning, um, I would really give you a hug if you could share it, that would be amazing. Uh, but even without that, um, I think I'll be able to at least do a decent job simulating it. Uh, I should probably already start explaining what I want to do exactly for those of you who aren't Dutch or have no idea what I'm talking about basically. Um, the rural type of area that I want to go for here is um, very much agricultural. And basically, rural areas in the Netherlands are quite similar to what you've obvious, uh, probably seen quite a lot in city skylines. Um, small roads with some houses attached to it and different types of farms everywhere. Um, but one big difference would probably be that it's very rectangular. And not rectangular per se in an entirely grid-like fashion, um, but really stretched out rectangles in different directions everywhere. Um, which I believe to be is sort of related to how the Netherlands is uh, pretty much built from polders, or at least the entirety of Holland is, um, where the, um, the, the, the very fact that the land exists from polders sort of not only gives shape to the way the um, farmland looks, but also to what's actually farmed. Um, that's something that I should probably explain a bit more, as, as one of the comments actually in the last video pointed out, uh, which was actually very helpful. Basically, since the Netherlands is below sea level, it needs the dikes to also defend it from the rivers, since the land is also lower than the rivers. And because of this, uh, the land is very fertile, but also um, it's quite a big risk um, to grow stuff outside of the dikes. So usually what's done is to have your cattle outside the dikes and within the dikes um, grow a lot of stuff. And that's how I think the Netherlands is also uh, the second biggest uh, ag agricultural exporter of the world. But don't... Um, don't quote me on that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's why I wanted to make sure that I would have um, really crops over here in all of these rectangles and fill it in like that. Uh, but one of the important things which I should probably note when it comes to the layouts is that while I want to simulate um, the crops and the shape of um, the rural areas with all of these rectangles over here, um, a very key difference that you'll probably have noted by now is that I'm not using any ditches and I'm not using any small canals or anything like that. And that's a bit of an issue and really just something that I don't have because of a game limitation. I've tried a number of ditches that were in the workshop as placeable assets and I wasn't really happy about any of them and the in-game water system just isn't good enough for ditches and it would require tremendous effort to even get it to work um, in a decent way. Um, so in the end I decided that I would just settle on the um, pedestrian paths and place those everywhere to divide the land up in these rectangles, which would normally be done by ditches, um, but sort of from an aerial perspective I suppose the paths at least do a decent job uh, demarcating all the different areas and that's basically why I want to have that over there. Um, you'll notice a couple of other pedestrian paths over here, especially alongside the road, but also underneath the dike over there. Uh, which I basically wanted to do as bland bicycle paths. And this is something that's throughout the city at the moment. Um, I've laid out a lot of pedestrian paths that sort of don't make any sense as pedestrian paths, but I've planned as bicycle paths. I, I'm just a lazy bum and I haven't downloaded After Dark yet, so I don't have access to bicycle paths yet. But, um... As soon as I do, which should happen in the future, hopefully, I'll, I'll, convert, I'll convert those to bicycle paths, hopefully, uh, if that'll work, in any case. That's why I'm planning with all of, all of those things. And um, a couple of things that I should probably talk about in the overall planning of this area. Um, like, the overall sort of plan is divide the land up into different rectangles everywhere. Um, get some tree lines here and there, and different types of, um, quote-unquote, crops in 
different uh, rectangles, even though it's kind of hard to simulate that. So basically, I want to do that with different bushes, um, assets, but also the um, terraforming tool to place different types of resources like ore and farming land uh, to make sure that the ground gets a different color. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I also want to get some small towns in here and there, uh, some windmills. Uh, though again, windmills is a bit of a tough thing because in real life windmills would be placed alongside ditches because many of them are used to pump water up into the river. Um, so I can't realistically really get those in. So most of the windmills that I'll be getting are just other types of windmills, but that means I can't spam windmills in um, one big row like you would often see them in the Netherlands. Uh, also what I probably want to get in here and there is dikes, <laughs> even if they aren't completely functional and I don't really need them, I should divide the polder up into different types of polders and um, kind of make sure that if things flood, there's always a dike in the middle that can save a different area once one area floods. Uh, so I'm gonna want to have some dikes here and there, not to mention that they've got quite a good aesthetic appeal to making this area look a little bit more Dutch. Especially since, and this is one of my issues with the map that make it harder to add ditches, but also to make this area look touch in general. There's some very slight hill um, going on in the entire um, map, basically. There are very slight hills everywhere, and it isn't too big of an issue placing anything or anything. Um, but it does make um, looking this make this it does make making this rural area look Dutch uh, quite a lot harder since one of the key elements really of the rural landscape in Holland is that it's so awkwardly flat and that is something that I, I it's going to be hard to convey with this very slight terraforming going on with this map and it also makes placing ditches a little bit harder. I uh, tried to actually make a ditch over here but really failed because I forgot how the water system works in this game and it just <laughs> eventually evaporated. Uh, so if ever I want to mess around with ditches a bit more, I should either try and get some new assets that I might find. Um, though I've tried pretty much all the canal and ditches assets out there, and they all didn't really fit the rural feel, I think. Um, so it's I'm really going to have to get water out of the river if I ever get into that type of thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the rural area, the entire planning. Uh, probably some other stuff that... I also want to get in there is modern windmills, uh, so not just the traditional windmills, but really just some um, good old green energy windmills here and there too. Um, as long as it's far away from actual houses, that should be fine, and also make the area look a little bit more Dutch, um, because especially in um, the middle of the Netherlands, it's quite a common sight to have windmills everywhere in rural areas. Uh, but yeah, that's my general planning. And I'm definitely up to changing some um, different things and definitely up to feedback about how it looks and whether there's some things I might want to improve on it. Um, but that's the general sort of way that I want to go around it. And over here I just took a small break because I figured I wanted to remove that part with the houses over there since it was just awkwardly close to the business districts and a couple of supermarkets would be a little bit better. Oh, and I wanted to demarcate this small area over here for a possible future row house area. Which is also why I wanted to add a hill between this and the highway to sort of act as a sound barrier without having to have those ugly sound barriers that come right next to your highway. Because more often than not, um, especially with modern districts, uh, you see these grassy hill highway sound barriers because that's just what people like a little bit more. And... Uh, in terms of land value, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and especially these paths, by the way, are where I was figuring that I would have bicycle paths in the future. Uh, because basically, in the, in the um, Netherlands, bicycle paths are usually not attached to the roads, unless the roads are uh, older, and they didn't add bicycle paths to them yet. Um, but there's always a small green zone between the bicycle path and the road, um, which is what I sort of wanted to... Uh, imitate with these bicycle paths going all along these roads over here. Um, but yeah, they are pedestrian paths at the moment, and I still have to convert them at some point in the future once I actually decide to spend some money and throw some of it to um, Paradox Interactive. Oh, and a quick thing that always sort of annoyed me about the highway system or um, the road system in this game in general is how you always get these bridges and not actual smooth ramps once you start making some bridges over an 
over another area like if you if you raise the road as soon as you uh, reach nine meters or higher you get a bridge rather than a hill with a road on top of it and i really wanted to get this uh hill sort of look to my flyovers and bridges and ramps pretty much which is why i wanted to take a bit of effort and make sure that all of these roads would actually be supported by um actual ground and not just pillars um though i also have to say this is a bit of a boring interchange and it's something that i'm just not gonna really find a way around since i want to make sure that the highway system is realistically convincingly dutch and especially for this um, size of a city i just can't realistically get any interesting highway um, intersections going as much as i am a fan of highway porn as well it's just something that i can't really mess with for this city and i want to keep it realistically simple which means for the netherlands um, that pretty much all of my uh, three-way highway intersections are going to be trumpet interchanges and the four-way intersections are going to most likely be a mixture of um, cloverleaf interchanges and turbine interchanges because that's really the most common thing that you often see. And aside from that I do want to get a airport in the future so that would be a good opportunity to get some more interesting highway layouts going um, but really that's still probably far away in the future and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that exactly. Uh, now over here I wanted to have a small town, it it currently has the name Appledam, which is probably something that I should get to. I'm one of the worst people in the world when it comes to naming, like I absolutely suck at naming. Um, so this town over here I decided it would be called the Merry Town of Appledam, um, but I don't know if that's really a good name. So if anybody does have some naming suggestions, I really can't um, say that I'm gonna take any and definitely can't promise anything. Um, but if you do have some awesome suggestions and you think you've got an amazing name, um, then don't be afraid to shout it because um, it would be cool to have some names for little districts and I'm not always the best at coming up with names. Uh, but yeah, Appledam over here, it's at least a good way to reference something. Um, it's just a very stereotypical kind of small rural town. I really wanted to get this rural area to be a... Um, like a juxtaposition to the city, but not just in a way that I really wanted to have that contrast, but also the uh, many urban areas in the Netherlands do still have some green fields between all the cities and um, on purpose leave a lot of farmland in the middle of urban areas to make sure that not everything becomes one enormous big urban sprawl. And I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't get that with this either. Um, so yeah, the entire rural area around this city should just be a little bit more romantic and natural and sort of a break away from the concrete jungle and this town would probably be a good example of that and just a very small nice little town i suppose in the middle of some green fields kind of in a dutch type of fashion with a church in the middle and a windmill because how can i not have a windmill around it uh, but yeah that's pretty much the town of Appledam. Nothing much is going on over here, uh, just detached houses and that's about it. But I really wanted to have that in there just to make the entire rural area look a little bit more charming. Um, but yeah, again actually, much of this area is based on the area where I live and I do realize that there are many different ways in which rural areas are um, laid out throughout the Netherlands and this is really much just personal experience and kind of based on my area in general and that's sort of pretty much everywhere from the random little towns to the way that these um, farmlands are made and it goes for just about everything except for the city itself. The city itself is very Almeida-ish for those of you um, who are Dutch and probably know that city. Yeah, it's very much like that and even though I'm not too big of a fan of the way that Almeida um, is as a city and I probably wouldn't want to live there it looks pretty cool from up in the sky and um, in terms of city design, especially for a planned city, I do kind of like it. Um, which is incidentally one of my things that I kind of like about planned cities in the Netherlands is that they're not as um, utopian or um, big in entire idea behind it. Um, and they don't, don't turn out like communistic planned mega structures, um, but still have a bit of a town-ish and a charming feel to them which is basically what i want to try with this city as well 
as much as this city also is largely a planned city. Anyway, that's it for the real-time part, um, but I still had a small, um, I mean, that's it for the timelapse part, but I still had a small real-time part for the end of this video, so I'm gonna hand it over to my older self here. Alright, so here's how the city looks at the moment. I just want to quickly go over it and kind of explain what everything is and what I want to do in the future because it's kind of hard to explain and see that in a time lapse. Uh, basically, the last thing I added over here was the little town of Appledam. Oh god, don't pay any attention to the names, by the way. I really suck at naming stuff and I just wanted to come up with something in a minute, so I might change this in the future. And if anybody has any good suggestions, um, feel free to just throw them out there and I might take them. Um, but yeah, basically I kind of wanted to keep this little town over here as a separate town from the main city. Uh, which is the general idea that I want to go for for this entire area, which I'll get back to later. But I kind of want to sprawl um, some more small towns around this area. And this is sort of like the first more old um, town out here with just a simple church, some houses and a windmill, of course. And uh, this is the general farming area. This is also the sort of style that I want to keep throughout the remainder of the city, really. I'm just not too sure if I want to keep it as... Um, crop um like at the moment i i have so many like crop fields which is not that realistic i would love to have some more um cattle fields like those very specific well stereotypically dutch almost cow fields which is fields of grass everywhere in very straight and grid like patterns uh, with ditches in between them where usually um people just have cows and stuff but it's, it's something that I don't think I can realistically get in there. Um, not just because I can't really get cows on fields. I also don't think I can get realistic ditches. I tried it with a couple of them over here. But as you can see, I don't think they really look too great. And they definitely don't look too specifically Dutch. And also, since this entire map has some very slight hills pretty much everywhere. Um, they also start glitching on the side. Um, I'm sorry about the terrible frame rate, by the way. There's not much I can do about that. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go with these things. Don't really work in the end. Um, another thing which I should probably say is that I, I try to have a little water thing over here, like a canal sort of thing, but I completely forgot that water just disappears, so I can't really use this either, unless I find a way to connect it to the river, but that would just be way too complicated. Um, not to mention that, and uh, this is one big limitation on getting farmlands to look very Dutch. Um, realistically, a uh, li little bit ho of Holland 101, um, the polders are below sea level, so as soon as it rains or any sort of water gets in, um, you need to be able to pump the water out, and this is what most of the ditches are for, and what actually most of the windmills are for as well, uh, used to uh, raise the water a little bit with each windmill, so that eventually you can raise the water enough to get it out into the river, and make sure that the entire country doesn't become sea again. Uh, but the issue is that I can't use water physics like that in this game. Um, so functional windmills is something that I can't really have, which makes placing a lot of windmills and making things look Dutch harder. But it also makes actually having Dutch looking ditches pretty much impossible. Uh, now moving on though, uh, I've got this little area over here. I decided that I wanted to make this entire thing a little bit more open. I think I also want to remove a large part of the forest over here. There's way too much foliage here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make this entire area more open and make it more like a office slash industry zone that's close to the highway um, where a lot of traffic is actually going with like your typical IKEA and media markets and big mall over here. Uh, I don't know what's up with the garbage. I've never had that before. Um, <laughs> I wonder how a parking lot can have a garbage problem. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what this area is for. I think this is actually my favorite part of the city. As stupid as it sounds, uh, this pretty much came out the way that I wanted to make it in the end. And I'm quite happy about the way that it looks to kind of have that small industrial area just outside the city with some shops and things like that. Um, moving from which, this is just the remainder of the city, uh, just the standard houses. I want to remove the university over here in the future and just make this entire area one big park. And... Um, I don't know what I'll do with this area over here, to be quite honest. I was thinking I might turn it into a more industrial type of zone, especially considering how close it is to the highway. 
um, but I might also place a fence on top of this hill to make sure that I can build a housing area that's sort of sheltered from the highway over here. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that yet. Um, I do want to have some sort of house neighborhood in this corner here. And then over here, I think I'll have the train station, which I do want to make reasonably large. I think I'll just steal Amsterdam's train station because it's a Dutch looking one and uh, it works with two tracks. So I think I'll go with that eventually. And this space would probably be best to have some spawning areas. Uh, realistically, I should have a large area with a number of football fields and um, a couple of other sports over here, especially tennis is probably quite important. Uh, so I want to reserve this area for some sporting fields and then I might get some small industry lane over here uh, but not really do much else with that and then eventually I think this would be a good area to have my football stadium which I definitely want to have as well and then I think over here I could have another neighborhood with houses um, but I'll sort of have to think about that in the future because I also want to have a university and Arguably the best place for the university might be over here, but where exactly I want to place the stadium, university and housing area over here, I'm not quite sure yet, so I might just shuffle that entire plan around at some point in the future. Um, other smaller plans that I have are fixing this neighborhood, because right now uh, one of the big issues I think is that this is very much a 70s cauliflower neighborhood, uh, even though it, this cauliflower neighborhood ex itself needs some fixing. Um, and then this is very early 20th century um, and this is very reminiscent of the more recent developments but there's no real transition going on um, so I think I just want to transform this area, uh, get rid of all the flat blocks, replace them with different types of row houses and um, replace these two flats with more modern flats I think uh, to make this area look more like a modern housing area. I can keep the cauliflower neighborhood uh, but I want, I want to change the shape a little bit, uh, just on the outsides, because realistically I would kind of want the cauliflower neighborhood to have a more round shape. And right now it's, it's very like straight on the edges over here, um, but also over here it has a very straight border around it. And um, I think by removing the houses over here, um, but also over here, and especially alongside the main road, which I have here, and replacing them with parks, it should end up looking a little bit more realistic than it does right now. And then I think I could make a small cauliflower neighborhood over here too. And then, at some point in the future, I should make the center of the city, which I'm not quite sure yet how exactly I want to tackle it. Definitely not quite sure about the layout yet. Um, but as you may have noticed, I moved these buildings over here, uh, put them all in a row over here. And these are basically the buildings which I think will be best to make the center of the city with and make it look reasonably Dutch. But I'll see eventually how that's going to work out. I also want to put a wall around it, um, but the wall that I currently have is um, this one, but I'm not quite sure how much I like it. It's it's much more reminiscent of a Mediterranean slash France um, yeah, wall around the city, and I don't think I really kind of want to have that type of look. Uh, so I'll still look around the workshop for other things that I can use in that place. But yeah, that's pretty much the city at the moment. And then the city is, isn't going to grow too much larger, uh, so it's just going to be this little space over here and filling this area in, having some things over here, uh, but that'll really be about it. And uh, aside from this city, I think I would like to have a cool city over here, just a smaller one, uh, but that's all future planning. And to be quite honest, my plan at the moment for this uh, entire map is to just keep going until my computer can't take it anymore. And my computer is already having some troubles with it. It took me a couple of hours actually to get this thing to work again and uh, removed so many assets and mods and tried so many different launch set settings. But in the end, it turned out to be the, my drivers. Uh, so I upda updated those and now it works again, which is really great. Uh, but I do really fear, especially with the fact that I am using eight of my eight gigs of RAM on my computer, uh, that this entire map will just fail at some point in the future. And... If that ever happens, I might start a new one, but hopefully it's not going to happen anytime soon. I just don't want to think about it, and I just want to keep building on this map and sort of turn it into an entire province and uh, province, and just have some farms over here as well, some small towns here and there, and fill this entire area in, in a way in which I think I kind of want to do it. 
and get rid of all these forests, uh, which is going to be a pain, but I really want to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's really about it. I sort of wonder what... Ah, right, that makes sense. Don't really know what this is from. Uh, but yeah, that's what I want to do with this area, and that's really going to be about it. So I think I'm good to go for the next episodes. I think the next thing that I want to start doing is fill in this area with some football fields and stuff like that. And have some houses or something else over here. And maybe start work on this area with the train station. And I'm still too unsure about the center of the city to really start doing stuff over there. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.